Yo what's up guys my name is Hacky and in this video we have an updated version on how to get all the rare cars slash vehicles in GTA Online. This is really a fan favorite so I thought I'd make an updated version on how to do it and hopefully explain it as best as possible. Some of these vehicles are savable some aren't but hopefully this video does go on to help you out nonetheless. First one being the unmarked FIB Buffalo. This is a really cool type of police car. What you guys want to do for this one is go ahead and register as a CEO. Once once you got that, open your phone, go into your contacts and request a job from Gerald. It doesn't have to be Gerald, but just make sure it's either like Gerald, Martin, Ron, any type of those people really. Once you have that job in your job list, we're going to open the interaction menu, go into the CEO menu, go into VIP work, go into hostile takeover, and then make sure it's set to LSIA. Make sure you're at the airport. Actually, I didn't even mention that. And then we're going to start it up. I'm in a night shark. I do recommend you be in some sort of armored vehicle for this just because we're going to need to take out some enemies. We're going to have four-star police on us, so that's why an armored vehicle would be good for this. And there's our beautiful FIB Buffalo right over here. And even if you die, it's not the end of the world. You can just go ahead and respawn. I just shot the FIB Buffalo on accident right there. Let me take out this final guy. Now, instead of collecting the briefcase, go inside the FIB Buffalo and let's drive out of here real quick. As you can see, this thing looks super, super cool. The siren and everything, I think the lights look awesome. Once you get to this this area go ahead and join the job you have on your phone so this is a Gerald mission and then we're gonna immediately quit and we should back out of the job and we still have the FIB Buffalo which is nice now the police are still on us so let's actually just call Lester real quick to get them off as you can see we're not in the job anymore which is good that's exactly what we want so let's remove wanted level and now we have the FIB Buffalo all to ourselves which is pretty nice but obviously it's gonna be damaged no matter what after and so I'm going to show you exactly how you can fully repair this thing for absolutely free because it's not like you can take it into Los Santos Customs or anything because, I mean, it's an unmarked police cruiser, which, I mean, you cannot save this thing whatsoever. So to repair this thing, we're going to go to the arm wrestling place and we're going to hover over the white circle and I'll let you guys know exactly what you need to do. Hover over the white circle with your vehicle just like this and then as soon as we exit the car, we're going to spam right D-pad to go into the job and then immediately quit it after. So so we're going to exit the vehicle, spam right D-pad, and then once we load into the menu, as I said, we'll back out of here. Now, at first, we're not going to see the vehicle because this is where the vehicle was. All we want to do is walk away from it, and then after a little bit, we're going to turn back, and then we should see the vehicle. Watch this boom straight magic i should really be a magician but now we have the fib buffalo and it is completely repaired as you can see it's literally in perfect condition now it looks great and this is great for like role play or something like that or whatever else you might want to use it for this is a very cool vehicle indeed now let's move on to the next one next vehicle is gonna be the clown van this is a certain job that you need to bookmark from the rockstar social club i'll link the job down below in the description all you need to do is just have a social club Club account and then bookmark it restart your game and it should appear in your bookmark jobs just like this it'll be inside of stunt races and it is called Candyland, which is gonna be right here so cxb Candyland. you can start this up by yourself which is actually super convenient although if you wanted to you could get friends in with you and then all you guys can have the clown van which is pretty cool i believe the only way to get this vehicle in an online session is by getting a boatload of arena points but i mean the amount of grinding you need to do to actually unlock it is crazy so that's why we have different custom jobs like this it's very colorful i like it it's got the clown horn built into it because i mean it's a clown van so it fits perfectly and yeah this is just a cool little race feel free to just drive around the city you don't actually have to do the race if you don't want to and you can definitely mess around with friends it's got this special livery on it it's got the horns up top on the roof of the vehicle and it's as easy as that so let's move on to the next vehicle now next up is going to be an upgraded sentinel we all already managed to spawn it in right here it spawns in from 11 p.m all the way up to i think 5 a.m in game time and it spawns exactly on this road here is the exact location on the map it's right next to this arcade and it comes either in a lime color like this or a really cool looking purple so we managed to get the lime one i'll show you guys exactly what you need to do to actually spawn it in i really just go in circles around this little block right here on the map and you don't want to drive too fast or else it's not going to spawn so we're 
we're just gonna go around this block and then it should spawn on the left right here let's turn our camera angle to the right and then take a look to the left and did we get it yes we did this time we got the purple one which is honestly a little bit nicer than the lime one i think it sells for more as well it sells for like 20 something thousand dollars which is not bad both of these ones are pretty cool oh my goodness what is this pedestrian freaking doing as you can see it's got the paint job on it with the pearl lesson it's got upgraded wheels it's got a spoiler upgraded bumpers and stuff like that very cool design now let's move on to the next vehicle make sure you guys head to this exact location i'm gonna zoom out real quick and zoom back in so make sure you guys head to this exact spot and make sure you guys have either an oppressor mark ii like me here or some sort of helicopter that will do the job now the tornado is actually going to be spawning on that hill right there but you guys will see why you want to be on this hill later on so basically pull up your phone and see what time it is and you guys want it to be about 6 30 and when it turns 6 30 you guys just want to be facing away including your camera angle make sure you face it away from the spawn location and exactly at 7 p.m pretty much 19 0 0 you guys will see it will spawn there so we're actually going to turn and see if it's there at around 7 5 so as you guys can see it's about to be 7 p.m and you guys want to use a sniper for this you're going to be needing to snipe someone so as you guys can see it is now 7 p.m and just a few minutes past it in game and let's go ahead and turn around and as you guys can see it is there and you guys want to quickly snipe the person driving it and as you guys can see i did in fact kill him and make sure you guys just use a regular sniper not an explosive one because i actually blew it last time i tried so just go ahead and get this beautiful tornado and you can go ahead and call the cops off and I accidentally took out the lady in the passenger seat as well and as i'm falling down here pretty much once you call the cops off just go ahead and drive to any garage you want to save this in so basically to summarize that you guys want to be facing away from its spawn location from about 6 30 so as you guys can see it is six right now and you guys want to turn around from about about 701 to like 705 and that's what makes it so rare there's only a couple of seconds you guys can actually get this to spawn in we're gonna be doing the modded sand king now this can spawn in like a baby blue type color or like a really nice looking yellow so all you want to do you want to be driving up and down this road right over here so it's the road right under sandy shores airfield and preferably you want to be driving a sand king this is gonna up the chances of you actually spawning it in you can either find one off the street or call a personal one in or you could just use any other off-road vehicle but the sinking would be the best one so all you guys want to do just drive up this road and the spawn location is actually going to be right over here in this parking lot so just like with the rat loader make sure you drive up slowly and you want to be facing away from the spawn location so and if you don't get it the first time that's completely fine and i forgot to mention that this does spawn in from morning all the way to like late afternoon time so as you guys can see on the phone it's 3 p.m in game time all right so i had a little trouble spawning it in so what i did i went ahead and bought myself a sinking xl the only difference is that the xl is a four door and the smaller one is a two door so now let's see if it makes a difference so i'm gonna drive up slowly and turn my camera to the right and we finally got it so this time we got the yellow one and the cool thing about the yellow one as you guys can see right here is that it actually has ice white wheels this is the only pre-customized vehicle in the game that actually spawns in with ice white wheels they are pretty freaking rare all right so pretty much the only requirement for this is make sure you guys have a submarine and then once you're in your submarine go on the planning screen right here and once you're on the screen go one tap to the right and click on approach vehicles and then you guys want to start up either alkanos right here or stealth annihilator which is actually the mission that's locked as you guys can see the locked icon right there both of them work for this but i'm just going to be doing the alkanos just because i already have it unlocked so you guys want to actually have the part two of this so make sure you guys complete part one it takes like five to ten minutes you basically just have to go to the army base kill a couple of people and then deliver a big plane and once you complete it go back in your submarine and then you guys want to go ahead and start up part two pilot so we just started it and you guys actually want to get a specific location for this and i'll open up the map and show you guys so as you guys can see we got a location in vinewood hills which is not what we want so we actually want a different specific location so basically if you didn't get the specific location like me just go ahead and go into creator and then from creator start up an invite only session and i'll get back to you guys once i got the specific location then i'll show you guys exactly where it is And let's see if we got the location we want so yeah we actually got the location so this is the exact location you want to get on the map once again if you didn't get that just go ahead and load into a new invite only session but i'm just gonna take the helicopter and go there so it's called the san chiansky mountain range that's the exact location you want to get so once you get to the location just go ahead and get the slam van as you guys can see there's the beautiful slam van right there and you do have to kill a couple of people so just go ahead and take everybody out and get the slam van so once you take everybody out just go 
go ahead and take the slam van and once you take it just throw a sticky bomb on the plane to go ahead and end the mission and then you could just go ahead and invite your friends into the session and once again if you guys want to go ahead and save this you guys actually need to do the give cards to friends glitch so the first vehicle i'm going to be showing off is how to get the rare rat loader now it's not going to look exactly like this because i have this modded one right here but it is going to be pre-customized and as you guys can see we already managed to spawn the yellow one these can spawn either in a yellow or green but as you can see it is already pre-customized so that is the exact spawn location so let me show you guys on the map it's going to be spawning right about here next to this gas station all the way up in Polito bay as you guys can see so i already managed to spawn one in but i'm going to be explaining what you guys exactly need to do so as you guys can see in game time it is just under 8 a.m right now now it's going to be spawning from 6 a.m to 9 a.m in game time so make sure you're around here at that time and so all you guys want to do is just drive around here and make sure you drive fairly slowly up to the spawn location next to that gas station as you guys saw and it will help you if you guys are actually driving a rat loader that's not pre-customized and as you guys can see we got the green one this time so all you want to do is just drive up to the spawn location pretty slowly and you guys want to preferably be driving a rat loader or like a muscle or off-road so drive up and down this road and it could either spawn in this parking lot in this parking lot or in this parking lot and as you guys can see I am in a public session I do recommend you guys go in a public session I don't know if you have to but I've had a little bit more luck spawning it in in public sessions and not invite onlys you guys can see there's a bunch of gang members in yellow that's how you know this is like the vagos area and you don't want to go too fast but also not too slow for this so i'm just gonna tap the gas button and i just look for the cars in these parking lots once again five minutes later so we did manage to spawn in a purple one first usually the purple ones are a bit harder to find so this is the exact spawn location of the purple ones it's gonna be right up this road right here and i think once we get in all the gang members are gonna start shooting us so let's go ahead and try this i'm gonna seal it real quick and hopefully they don't mind oh they clearly mind yep my original plan was to find the yellow one first since they're the easiest to spawn in from my experience but i mean we got a purple one that's also good i'm gonna go and put some insurance on this but once you guys get one of the gang cars that's gonna help you spawn more gang cars in so now we got one of these gang cars now we're gonna use it to spawn in more gang cars we'll see what cars we're gonna spawn in they might also be the buccaneer they might be the other cars it really depends how lucky you are and i'm gonna face my camera angle away from the spawn location let's see if that helps and we did manage to find another buccaneer this time a yellow one a vagos version of it so it's definitely easier to spawn these in once you guys find one of them you could just keep on spawning more and more of them and i think i see another one right there in that parking lot yeah so another buccaneer in this parking lot and another buccaneer i guess so we got three yellow buccaneers once again the yellow gang cars are going to be in this area in these three parking lots basically and you do want to be careful before you guys get in it because once again the gang members are going to go ham on you so i'm going to leave this purple one and take the yellow one since i do have insurance on that one i could just come back to that one but now i got the yellow one i'm getting a lot of buccaneers as well but once again there's other versions you guys can get you can also get this car what do you call this one? Oh yeah this one's the maniana so this is one of the cars you guys can get and we did manage to spawn a green one as well and i don't know if i trust this guy of course so you guys saw where the spawn location of the green one was it's right up this road i'll show you guys on the map in a second basically the purple one is going to be on this road the green one is going to be more over here and then the yellow one is going to be right about here and we did manage to spawn a yellow maniana so there you go for the most part it is randomized which car you guys sometimes you're going to get the buccaneer sometimes the maniana and we did get another yellow buccaneer right there but i'm actually going to stick with this maniana i think it's a little bit cooler it's got the flames on the sides right there it's got some more customization options than the buccaneer i think it doesn't have to be during daytime but i think during daytime it is a bit easier to spawn these in there's some cool customization options on this one i think the wheels are also customized and there's another green car right there so as you guys can see that's the spawn location it's basically the exact same car only in green and after a few more upgrades i got this car looking absolutely pimped out so we spawned a lot of buccaneers we got some manianas as well let's see if we can get some peyotes and tornadoes those two are a little bit harder to spawn in from my experience and that's another green maniana right there so now we've driven all of them the yellow one the purple one and the green one but now i'm strictly gonna try to show you guys the other vehicles this maniana actually has some windows it looks like so each one is a little different in terms of customization each car does have its own unique customization options which i like and you can sell them for a good amount as well each one's about 15 to 25 thousand in between that range so we got a green buccaneer right here so a lot of buccaneers the buccaneer is probably the most common one i guess i'll take it why not although they're gonna start shooting me probably oh 
they don't care so i'll get back to you guys once i find either the tornado or the maniana so if you don't find it just drive away a little bit and then come back and there isn't any specific time you need to be here they spawn both during daytime and nighttime all right so i'm in a public session now let's see if we can spawn it in and there we go i was having a little bit of trouble spawning it in in a private session so if you guys want to go ahead and go in a public session that might help because in an invite only i was having a little bit of trouble but there we go we got the tornado along with having stock versions of the car you're trying to get these upgraded cars are also good so let's say for example you found the upgraded tornado you can go ahead and use that to find more whether it be another tornado or one of the other ones and if for some reason you can't find any of these vehicles stock you could just get like a muscle car or anything along the lines of that a modded peyote this thing looks absolutely amazing next vehicle is going to be the dozer it's basically like a construction type vehicle it's going to be spawning right here on the map so i'm going to drive away a little bit come back and it should spawn right there and i guess i'll just get a regular vehicle that might help and here it is we got the hvy dozer i think that's actually the full name of it you could just freely get in it and then you could like flip cars around or like pick up pedestrians or even players for that matter so you could just have a ton of fun with this it's pretty slow i gotta say but you can have a ton of fun with like the thingy on the front you could just pick up cars just like me here holy crap usually you're only able to like flip them over but i just literally picked up an entire car and by the way it only spawns there during daytime so make sure you guys go to that location during daytime only next vehicle is going to be the police motorcycle it's actually called the wolf's bane so to spawn it in go to this exact location on the map it's on the far right side of the map and it will help you spawn it in if you have some sort of regular motorcycle like the batty 801 right here so not something like the oppressor mark 2 but you want to be in this area during daytime so anywhere from like the early morning time right now all the way up to the afternoon so you guys want to go in this grocery store real quick pull out your weapon point it at the cashier and once the cashier has his hands up you guys want to exit the grocery store and then quickly drive to the back of this ammunition store right here and then turn your camera angle to the right side so you're facing away from the spawn location and just wait a bit till you guys see someone driving in the area and try to search for a police bike so i think we got it this time we finally freaking got it so there is the cop and there's the police bike so just go ahead and take him out and now you have the beautiful police bike it did take me a good amount of time to get this thing it also has a pretty cool siren it's like different from the standard police cars now let's move on to the next vehicle next up is going to be the rare dub stuff this could come either in chrome or gold first thing go ahead and call up miss baker you actually need a penthouse to be able to call miss baker then once you call her go ahead and select car services and then select the dub stuff then it's going to spawn you a matte black dub so you guys want to drive this and then the exact spawn location of this modded dubsta is going to be the parking spots right next to ls customs and so just drive in big circles around the area and you guys want to drive up to the spawn location fairly slowly and from my experience this is the hardest vehicle to spawn in out of all vehicles in this video it took me a good like 20 or 30 tries so if you don't get it the first time trust me it's going to take a bit unless you get like really lucky and make sure to do this during daytime as well i managed to spawn it in at like the last second at sunset but yes yeah, that's simple but trust me it's a lot harder than you think you have to get really lucky to to spawn this in within a few tries anyway let's move on to the next one it's a super heavy and super big construction vehicle it's gonna spawn in this off-road track here it is on the map it's on the right of the sandy shores airfield in the prison there's a few different spawn locations for it on this off-road track but it's all in this area so just fly around here and just make sure it's daytime too and here it is so this is one of the spawn locations that spawned on the side right here oh we actually got a pedestrian driving it too right there so i guess you guys can have multiple oh my god there's two more right there too but yeah this is easily one of if not the most powerful land vehicle in the entire game next one's gonna be the ambulance helicopter it's gonna be spawning on top of pretty much any police station it's either gonna be a police helicopter or an ambulance helicopter so this is one location it could be spawning at so here it is on the map another police station it could be spawning at is like the one in this area i think it's like about right here there's a police station in this area and then the final one is right over here this is the third police station it could be spawning at and obviously it's gonna be spawning on the roof because i mean it needs to be on a helicopter pad and there we go we finally managed to spawn in the ambulance helicopter i personally think this one's a little bit cooler than the police one just because you see the police one fairly often when you got stars on you so i guess you can use this for like a paramedic role play type thing next one is the space docker so what you guys need to do go down below in the description and bookmark a specific job it's basically a custom modded job you guys need and then to access it just press start go into online go into jobs play job bookmarked and then it's going to be a capture and i actually didn't bookmark it yet it is going to be in 
game I recently played though because I have recently played it before and it's called YouTube Fantasy Gamer and for these conditions I don't think it really matters I guess I'll just put it on all points and then time of day I'm gonna set it to noon so you can see it best and then I'll put it on owned and pickups I don't think it matters that much but and then confirm settings and then invite one friend to load in with you you need at least two people to start this so if you want to drop your gamer tags down below in the comments you can so you guys can load in with each other so some people are gonna respawn with Trevor's truck and some people are gonna respawn with the space docker so I think the other person also has to uh take the easy way out yeah so he does have the space docker once again you just gotta play around with taking the easy way out and then let's go ahead and check out this sick looking vehicle once again it's probably the rarest vehicle ever and it does have a pretty cool horn as well 